Here at the College of Business at the University of Illinois, we have great students, and we like to think we have a great curriculum. But more than that, we're really interested these days in professional responsibility. What we want to do with our undergraduate curriculum is to infuse professional responsibility across the entire curriculum. We start with Business 101, and that'll give you a good foundation. But by the time you get through your core courses, you will understand that professional responsibility is part and parcel of what it means to be a future business leader. Business 101, an introduction to professional responsibility, is a required course for all freshmen in the College of Business. Freshmen are introduced to the concept of professional responsibility through a three-module course. Module 1 introduces the concept of professional identity. Module 2 talks about professional standards and gives students decision-making models and the chance to practice using those models so they can build their professional responsibility muscle and exercise it early on in their careers so they'll be prepared to use that muscle once they join an organization. Module 3 of Business 101 talks about the concept of professional judgment. It gives students an understanding of ways their judgment might be challenged in individual situations, but it also asks students to think about the appropriate role of business in society. Business 101 is an innovative, creative, and groundbreaking course. The Center for Professional Responsibility in Business and Society is thrilled to be able to support this course here at the University of Illinois. It's a course we know will impact generations of students to come, not only here, but at other institutions as well. Our entering freshmen begin their professional education on day one as they begin to learn what it means to be a professional. During the first year, students learn what it means to be a leader, to make those around them better. It is during this time that they learn the development of the leadership skills that are going to make them important business leaders, political leaders, social leaders. In other words, they're going to try to make the world a better place. Module 1 allows students to work on a set of professional skills, including the development of a resume that is critiqued by a business professional. It also allows students to work on their presentation skills. Students also learn the appropriate attire, business professional, business casual. The growth during the first year is astounding. College of Business is very proud of its students because they take the leadership challenge seriously. They take their study seriously and they're ready to go out into the world well prepared for its competition but also well prepared to accept the responsibilities of being a professional citizen. Module 2 is about students at work and about professional responsibility. We talk about thinking about your own values and how to research companies so you can match your values to corporations you're looking at. Talk about codes of conduct and making sound decisions. We talk about errors in judgment and from bias, and we talk about when things go wrong at work. You're having a dispute with someone who has more power than you do, and the items that are at issue are things that are important, professional responsibility or ethical issues, for example. What do you do? How do you say what needs to be said? We have a series of two-minute challenges that present students with ethical dilemmas, posing the kind of dilemmas and challenges and problems that arise in the world of work. We help students use a decision-making framework to think those problems through, and then we help them practice how to say what actually needs to be said to solve a problem. Students draft their own scripts for dealing with tough issues and develop their own tools for analyzing, assessing, and solving problems when they arise. We work on understanding organizational structure. How does corporate governance work? What constituencies have interest, and what are your responsibilities to those different constituencies? Students read some business classics, including, among others, Drucker and the Monkey on Your Back classic. We have them think about their roles in organizations, working for supervisors, and then as they become leaders themselves. The capstone exercise for Module 2 helps provide a transition, or a bridge, from Module 2 to Module 3. Module 3 is about corporate social responsibility and dealing with problems and values as an individual in a corporation and in the larger world. The 
third module on sustainable businesses for subsistence marketplaces focuses on more than us, the larger society that's out there. We challenge students to learn about a radically different context, that of subsistence where there's extreme poverty and low literacy. We ask them to envision a better world and design business solutions for these contexts. We do this by asking students to participate in a poverty simulation where they learn about poverty in the United States. They play the roles of people living in poverty uh, through a, a one and a half hour exercise. The students read interviews and learn about subsistence consumers and entrepreneurs and write about what they learned about poverty. We ask them to be thinking about solutions. So they generate some product ideas as groups it's not enough that they develop a solution for which there is a grant that they can apply for. It has to be more of a business solution where the end user pays part or all of the cost. We challenge them to make their solutions more environmentally sustainable. Then the students present at the poster session that you see in this video. Ultimately, we hope to broaden students' understanding of what a business is and how it has the potential to address economic issues as well as social and environmental issues. In fact, trying to address all three issues may create win-win situations. Our goal is to give students an early experience in sustainability and we hope that there are more integrative experiences down the road in their undergraduate education that rounds off their thinking on this topic.